in DaVinci Resolve, there's a bunch of different tools that we can use to zoom in and zoom out, as well as a couple of automated ones. So I quickly wanna show you all of them. So the first one here that we're going to be working on, it's just a couple dancing on a rooftop. And so that's what we're gonna be working with. And I think what we'll do is we'll zoom in on her when it pans over to her and we'll stay zoomed out uh, on the gentleman. So we'll quickly hop over like that and let's open up our inspector. And in our inspector, we have these transform settings. Here we have zoom and position. So if we click in here and then drag, we can zoom in and then we could change the position and have it up. So we could do something like that. If we wanna reset these, all we have to do is just double click on the names or click on the little wheels over here to reset. Okay, so let's go in and let's zoom in on her. So we'll do this, we'll zoom in and come up. And let's say that's the zoom that we want to use and position. And we want this to be an animation of it zooming in. So let's add in the keyframes here. So we'll turn on the keyframes for both of those. And let's move our playhead back to the beginning and we want it to be zoomed out here. And so this is just, the zoom's gonna be set to one, position will be zero for the X and Y. I just use tab to jump from one to the other. So now if we take a look at this, it zooms in on her, right? So that's a kind of a cool move if we wanted that. We could also change the keyframe so it stays out for him for a little bit and then zooms in, but whichever. Uh, let's say we want to add in a little bit of easing. We could come down here. See like now there are two icons here where these shots don't have icons. If we click on this little keyframe one, here we have the ability to change the position of those keyframes. So maybe right before it uh, goes over to her, we'll have it right there. And we could right click in here and go to ease out, right? So out of this, it's going to ease since there's no keyframe. And then into this keyframe, we wanna have it ease in. So it'll ease, zoom in on her, just like that. So that's one option. Um, if we wanted to go take this a step further and we just didn't want the keyframes where we could easily move them around, let's click on this little button here and this allows us to see the graphs. Now I know that this is going to be a little difficult to actually see just because of the colors that are used here, but uh, you should be able to see this, bur uh, this uh, dark blue purple line. And if I click on this one, this green line here. So those are those easings that we wanted. So if I click on any of the keyframes, we can also grab the handles and maybe make that zoom in a little faster. Looks good. And so now if we come back to the beginning, we can see it zooms in real quick right on her, right? So we have that as an option. Uh, and so that's how we would go into using the keyframes and in the inspector using the transform settings. So now if we come over to the next shot here, let's say instead of using just these little parameters in here, instead of using these parameters in here, let's say we want it to uh, use the on-screen controls. Well, we can do that as well. One quick thing that I wanna show you is if you're on another clip and that clip is highlighted, you're going to see the parameters for that other clip, but not the one you're viewing. You have to click on the clip that you're viewing in order to change those parameters. If I was to come over here, or come over to this video, but have this video select it. When I change these parameters, it's going to be changing the parameters in this video here. So just something to be mindful of. Uh, it gets me sometimes. Okay, so back to the shot here. If we click this little button here, it's, uh, it's currently selected on transform. It will highlight that and I can zoom or scroll out a little bit with my scroll wheel. And here we can have the ability to change the position of it and move it around. So uh, it uses the same exact controls here and we can also like rotate it and stuff. So there's a lot of different things that we can do, but it's just changing the parameters over here. So if we wanted to, you know, click a position, click a different position, have it move or scale down or whatever you want it, may even make it super small. Um, you do have that as an option. Right, so then between those two points, you would have that as an option. So that's how we would do that with the on-screen controls if that's something that you wanted. Now I wanna quickly show you uh, something that's really cool that you can do, let's just turn this off, with a, an uh, automated way, I guess is to say. So with this clip here, if we take a look at it, we can see that we are the camera is moving in, right? And with that, it, you know, it's filling up the screen with him a little bit more. But what if we were to have 
uh, with that move that's going in, because there's a lot of different um, things that are happening with the background, with him being so close, when a camera moves in like this. What if we were to zoom out the clip while the, while the physical camera was going in, we were zooming out at the same time. This is a really cool effect that you sometimes see in movies and stuff like that, but I wanna quickly show you how to sim simply do it in uh, DaVinci Resolve here. So we have this option over here called Dynamic Zoom. If I click on that and we take a look at this, we're kind of getting that effect there. But it's not really showing what's going on here. So if we come over here and we come down to dynamic zoom, we can see here a bit what's going on. So we have two different boxes here. We have a red box and a green box. The green box is going to be our starting location and the red box is going to be our ending location. So instead, let's zoom way in on let's say him and then it will zoom all the way out to here by the end of the clip. So with dynamic zoom, it's from the beginning of the clip to the end of the clip, wherever you have it cut. If you put a cut in the between, dynamic zoom will be for whatever the duration of that little clip, not the whole thing. So if we take a look at this now, and when you turn this off, we now see the results, right? Because we're at the beginning of the clip. If we have this on, we see uh, everything because we're uh, in the control to uh, affect it. So now if we take a look at this shot, we can see that we're getting this very unique look here. Now the camera itself I think is on a gimbal and it like jitters a little bit there, but uh, outside of that, I think that that is a very cool and kind of trippy looking shot there. Um, and that would be really cool in a lot of music videos to be completely honest with you. Uh, but yeah, I just want to quickly show you how to do that. It, there's a couple of other options in here with dynamic zoom. We can change the easing if we wanted to have it ease and then swap we'll switch these two locations, right? So instead of having it start where it's start and end points are is pretty much what it's doing. So here like it would be like zooming in crazy. Obviously that's not gonna work uh, unless we would change it a little bit in our location. But this uh, looks pretty good, I think. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you how you uh, would go about doing that using dynamic zoom. So yeah, those are going to be all the different ways that you can zoom in and zoom out within DaVinci Resolve. Hopefully you found this interesting. If you do want a set of free titles, there is a link in the description to my website so you can get a pack of free titles and take a look at that. If you want some more information on editing in DaVinci Resolve, I have a couple of courses going over a bunch of different stuff, uh, right around 30 hours of content on my website that you can take a look at, as well as I have a bunch of pre-made assets that are up there that you can also take a look at. But yeah, with that being said, I think that kind of concludes this video. Thanks for watching. My name's JR. Until the next one, guys, have a good one.